Hey Tubies, it's Psychic Bob. Well, welcome to Wednesday. It's Wiccan Wednesday. Well, as many of you know who have been here a while, or if you don't know, you'll find out. Um, I am a Wiccan priest. My title is Lord Iseon, and I am the head of the Order of the Purple Cord. It's an online coven that we started, a mystical order of like-minded Wiccans who gather to do ritual. And, um, but even when you're not gathering at ritual, you're a Wiccan and a member of the order, even in your home and in your daily life. Many of our members are solitaries, which means they practice on their own. And so I created the Order of the Purple Cord as a group to gather. And we're gonna be doing more stuff with the order very soon. So definitely, you know, keep it here and keep watching. Well, as you, many of you know that within the order, we have people of various talents and, and inclinations and leanings. And uh, we're starting a new group within the order that is going to be called the Mystics of the Silver Star. For those of you who are wondering how the Order of the Purple Cord works, the Order of the Purple Cord is a free order to join. The only thing we ask is that you commit to the Wiccan read, and that is to harm none, do as ye will. If you'd like to be a member of the Order of the Purple Cord, send me an email to my email, which will be below, uh, psychicbobhickman at gmail.com, and we'll make sure to add you to our membership roles. It's free to join, and we'll be having some announcements about online rituals coming up soon, so definitely keep it here. Well. Like the Masonic Order, some of you have family members or yourselves might be members of the Freemasons. In the Freemasons, the Masonic Order, uh, there are different branches. You can be a Mason and serve as a Shriner, or you can serve as a Knight Templar, or you can be a member of the Order of the Eastern Star. There are different branches and ways to express being part of Masonry. I feel that the craft, because it draws so many people of different persuasions, also to meet our needs, needs to diversify. So we're going to have different groups within the Order of the Purple Cord. The Order of the Purple Cord is the main order to which all of us belong. But some of you have a calling maybe to do some special spiritual work within the Order. So this is why I've created the Mystics of the Silver Star. The Mystics of the Silver Star are going to be a group of people within the Order who do magic, particularly working with the energies of the Silver Star. The silver star of which we speak is the five-pointed star, the mystical pentacle or pentagram. Here in my hand is just one such silver star. This is my pentacle that I wear every day, and it's done in sterling silver. The star of which we speak in Wicca is the five-pointed star called the pentagram, or in this case, the pentacle. Well, what's the difference? A pentacle has a circle around it, and a pentagram is just a star on its own. They're both equally powerful, and uh, not one is better than the other. It just really comes down to personal preference. But this is a symbol that in many witches find brings them protection, connection to deity, and power for magic. I did a previous video a few weeks ago about how to set up an altar for the Order or the Mystics of the Silver Star. Uh, I'll put that link below. If you haven't seen that, go see it. But some of you have written me since that video and said, Lord Iseon, um, I don't know where to get a silver star. How can I make my own? And the answer is absolutely yes. We're going to show you just one method today to make your own silver star. Now, as I mentioned in the previous video, you can use a created star or make one yourself. This is kind of the middle ground between both. Instead of buying a, a metal star that could be expensive, you can uh, actually make yours out of cardboard. Now, this one is a prefabbed cardboard star, but um, you can buy these paper stars at most local craft stores, such as Hobby Lobby or Michael's Crafts, and they're not expensive, probably like, you know, $2 a star made of cardboard. So, um, another option is if you have cardboard itself, you can cut a star out of cardboard and, and you know use that as well. But we I found these recently at a craft store and I really like them. So I think we're going to use this today. I'll show you how to make a silver star. To do this project all you need is a piece of cardboard and if you can find a pre-made cardboard star that's great. But if not you can make your own 
out of cutting out a five-pointed star in cardboard. And then you need some silver paint. We happen to have some lovely silver paint here. So we're going to just pour some of that out. You don't need a lot. And here's our silver paint. And then you'll need a brush. I would recommend a sponge brush because I find that it makes the smoothest application on surfaces rather than leaving brush strokes. It tends to blend in better. And so once you have your cardboard, your star, and your silver paint, you're ready to go. So let's go ahead and start.
Now this string, this star happens to have a little hanging string already attached. So we can set this up here and you can see it. We've already got one code and it's already looking really good. But I think we'll let it dry a few minutes and then we'll just add a little more to strengthen the color tone of it. Okay, well it's been a few minutes and this paint is already sitting up, setting up. It's uh, drying rather quickly. Now as you look at your star after you do your initial coat, you'll notice things like you'll see spots, little rust spots, and paint's not evenly distributed, particularly on the edges or near the ends. And so take it some time and just look over your star. Like down in there is a little imperfection. We could smooth this out, make it a little nicer. You see, there are little areas where the paint is not as covered and the cardboard color shows through. So we have a little bit more touch up to do on this and uh, let's just work on it little by little. So as you study it, you'll just see those little, little areas that just need a little, just a little work. You don't have to go overboard. Just take your time with it. You could use the edge here to get into the creases of the star. I see over here a little spot that needs some touch up. Remember that you're making an item that's a, a sacred item. And so, you know, approach it with reverence and thought. This is not a competition who can make the quickest, fastest starts. It's about creating something that will help you on your journey. So we can do the edges here around the star. In fact, let's pick that up. Now I've propped up the star so it's not lying flat and this is allowing me to see the edges and I can see some unpainted areas here that stand out. But that's what your, your brush is. And this is why I like the sponge brush because it allows you easier access to get a smoother, smoother finish on your star. Just look, you'll see little areas that just kind of pop out at you that say, I need some paint. You can talk to your star and say, do you like being painted? Which, which area do you want more paint? Star can guide you. It's a mystical item. You know, the witches of old believe that um, their tools had life. They gave them names. So if you want to call your star a name, you can do that to connect with it. And as I said, take your time and really feel your way through it. It's much as a psychic exercise as is any. Because you're sensing what works to make it look beautiful. So it will be a powerful, magical tool for you. And make no mistake, the, man, the Silver Star is definitely a magical tool. Why do you think it stayed with witches for as long as it has? Because it works. The power of the spirit, life force moves through the Silver Star. That's looking much better. Now at this point, some people may want to enhance their star a little bit. But I would say to you, whatever you add to it, keep it minimal. Uh, don't go overboard because the symbol of the order is the simple silver star, the five points. Um, if you wanted, you could add some silver glitter to it uh, or even maybe a little white glitter or iridescent. But try to stay really with more closer to the silver tones because the symbology of the silver is, is part of the ritual that we're going to do in the next week with this. So we're going to have more because I'll be putting out a little pamphlet on the work of the Order of the Silver Star, and I'll have that for you guys next week for download. But as you can see, our star is setting up nicely. Now, as I, I said earlier, I already did a video about all the different ways to set up an altar to uh, the, for the mystics of the Silver Star, and I'll have that link. Check the info box below for the link to the original video, and please see that as well. But today we're going to just do a very simple version. So here's our star. It's already dried. Um, so I've just, what I've done is you can have your stars freestanding on your altar or put it on a wall. And this time I decided to put this one on the wall because it's made to be a wall hanging. And then I set up a little table. I have, let me just show you this real quick. I just have a little marble topped 
plant stand and I've put it against the wall and I have a beautiful cloth. Now the altar cloth for the Mystics of the Silver Star should be either silver or white. You can use a white cloth. You don't have to have silver. I happen to have a silver cloth and just really love it. So I bought this actually. I think this was I got it at Pier 1 before they went out of business. But this is a lovely little cloth. You can see I just have it hanging down on the sides. So you can just add a simple cloth over a table that sits in front of your star. And then the next thing you want to add are some candles. Now you can either use one candle or two candles. Because I have a small altar I'm going to choose to use one. And one I think is also important because as I'll bring out in the manual for the Mystics of the Silver Star, we're going to have part of the meditation is the single ray of silver light, which you'll learn later on. But um, So I have a silver candle holder. By the way, the candle holder should be either clear glass or silver or pewter. I have to have a silver candle holder here. And I also have a silver candle. Now the candles can either be white or silver. I happen to be totally out of white candles today, but I do have some silver. So we can have our silver candle here and it can sit before our silver star. And this makes a wonderful little altar. And now we can light our candle with a brief prayer. Silver star of magic power, we call your light at this sacred hour. Let your silver ray illumine us today and show us the way. So mote it be. And there you go. You now have an official setup for an altar for the mystics of the silver star. Now you could also, as I said, have two candles and flank the area. I'm just using one for today, but know that there are options available. You could also use votive candles down here as well, so you're not limited. But there is our silver star shining bright. And as I said, this is an ancient symbol of Wicca. The witches of old knew the power of the silver star. And you don't have to spend a lot of money. I bought the star for $2 and some paint. And uh, I had around my house the rest of it. You probably find a little table you could use. Oops, I've already got wax on the <laughs> thing dripping. Anyways, you might want to use votives. It's a little less messy, but I'm out of votives today. I have to go to the store. But So we're using our silver candle. And there is our silver star shining bright through the night. Well, Tubies, I hope you've enjoyed learning about how to work with the uh, setting up the silver star for your altar. Remember, you don't have to spend a lot of money. Be creative. Create your own stars. You can also buy silver stars. You have to look around. They're a little hard to find outside of Christmas season. But uh, make sure to see my video below, the link to the original. That'll give you more ideas. But I thought you'd like to see the special craft and how beautiful and easy it is to begin the work of the Order of the Mystics of the Silver Star. Um, if you'd like to be a member of the Mystics of the Silver Star, I'll be putting out more stuff soon on that. We're going to have a certificate that you can get off my website and, uh, you know, an instruction manual with the rituals that we're going to do as members of the Mystics of the Silver Star. So, yes, if you'd like to join that, let me know. Send me an email at psychicbobhickman at gmail.com and uh, I will make sure to, that you get the information in the coming weeks. I'm still working on it, but we'll have more for you about the rituals and the magic work of the mystics of the Silver Star and how that supports the Order of the Purple Court. Now, if you're a member of the Order of the Purple Court, you don't have to be a member of the mystics of the Silver Star. Remember, some people are called to it, some aren't. You're still a member even if you don't do this, but just something for those of you who want to explore it. And as I said, we'll have more about it in the next week. Keep it here at Spirit Channel. Listen, I got to run. I love you guys. Be back here tomorrow for, what's tomorrow? Thursday, Vlog Thursday. Don't miss it. We'll have some adventure. I love you guys. We'll see you back here tomorrow. And make sure to help me out. Like this video, favorite it, and hit that subscribe button. Join our channel. We'd love you to be here. You guys rock. We'll see you here tomorrow. Until then, may all of you always blessed be. Behold the silver star.